Insira a hora atual. Hã? Um e oito? Hã? Observação, as configurações de acessibilidade para ser... Tá bom. Três e dois. Tá aí. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Olá, YouTube. Eu já joguei Stanley Parable inteiro, caso você queira assistir. Inclusive o final do bebê, que eu joguei com o 61. Foi um inferno, mas fizemos. E aqui tem o Ultra Deluxe, que lançou faz um tempo, só que não tinha em português ainda. Só que... Né, e de, algum, de alguma forma veio a, a legenda em português, sem nenhuma atualização aparente. Então eu vou jogar aqui com vocês. Deixa eu abaixar um pouquinho aqui. Vamos jogar isso aqui, vamos jogar isso aqui. Deixa eu tocar 60. Vamos lá, vamos lá. Vamos ver qual que é o rolê aqui. Porque eu já joguei antes, será que... Eu tenho que descobrir quais são os outros caminhos, os outros finais, porque tem muito mais coisa aqui, né? This is a story of a man named Stanley. Uh -huh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk... Big, big player. ...427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. might have considered Igual cheque. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley... Stanley was... era feliz! Oh. Eu, eu aperto o botão e o que aconteceu? O que? Eita. Não falou para fazer nada. Eita porra. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Eita. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Eita, deixa eu ver um negócio aqui. Tem como... Ah... Uh, legenda, opacidade, aumentar um pouco o tamanho da legenda. Eu vou colocar muito grande. É. É que o tá trazendo em cima do texto do jogo. Não. Precisa. Aí. Tá. Deixa eu aumentar um pouquinho também, porque tá muito baixo. Aí. Tá, eu quero ver os outros. Quais são os outros finais? Porque eu sei que tem um final aqui, né? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Eu não consigo. Ele tinha que fazer uma decisão. O que se o under his responsibility? Ele nunca foi been trained for that. Não. This couldn't go anywhere except badly. Eu não consigo. Now Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. É isso. Nothing will break me. Eu vou ficar aqui, eu tenho medo. Eu tenho medo de desbravar. I will be happy. É isso. Stanley waited. Eu vou esperar. Hours passed. Uh -huh. Then days. Dias. Had years gone. Ah, não, fiquei que eu não comi nada, um café. Eu não sei mais. He knew for sure beyond any doubt. Was that if he waited long enough, eu quero a resposta. Eu quero. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Uh -huh. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. É. He will be told what to do. Eu quero fazer now coisa que fala. Just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Tá muito mais perto. Eu quero ir embora. Eu quero ir para lá, ó. Palma, gente. Pra quem não sabe, gente, Stanley Parable é um jogo que tem trocentos e muitos finais, que saiu faz muito tempo, e aí lançou mais recentemente o Ultra Deluxe, que tem mais finais ainda, com um gráfico melhoradinho, e agora em português também, agora, né? É, e esse é um dos finais, que já tinha da outra vez. Só que, né? É, ia lá. O que Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Memo. 
No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Para de falar o que eu faço ou não faço. Tem os finais muito secretos também. Para de falar comigo! Eu, 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 eu tava com saudade dele. Eu tava com muita saudade dele. Tem a da janela? Não, tem muitos, tem muito. Mas eu queria fazer os novos. Dura saber os novos. Eu já fiz, tem, tem muitos finais Ó, Esperando eu escrever alguma coisa ali Eu já fiz também Tem o da salinha do corredor, né? Que ele é muito bom Ih Stanley came to a set of two open doors He entered the door on his left <risos> Tá bom <risos> Opa, eu tô brincando. Ah, será que eu vou? Não, eu vou lá. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Tá um bonitão, né? Eu que joguei o anterior, que é tudo flanos. É tudo Kalias. Ah, esse aqui. Aqui, esse final é muito bom. É um dos melhores do jogo. Esse final é um dos melhores. A legenda é tão melhor, sim. Sim. Esse aqui é um dos melhores que tem. É muito bom. E... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Tá. Seria bom se eu lembrasse qual qual caminho para os que eu já fiz para saber os novos, porque eu não lembro. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. É, Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Fala, me fala, me fala todos os seus segredos. Was it the keypad behind the boss's desk? Guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping the until the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Qual será que é? 2845. But of course, Stanley gets incredible by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. <laughs> eu, eu Stanley consegui. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He Oops. stepped into the newly opened passageway. He. Uh-huh. É que eu não lembro. Eu lembro que tem as coisas, mas não lembro que tem as coisas. Botão. Ele conseguiu, que sorte. Que, so... Quanta gente... que sorte que a gente tem. Nossa, a gente é muito sortudo. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Uhum. This question would not go unanswered for long. Eita. Quebrou. Ah, eu subi. É. Oops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? É. <laughs> Escorregou. Escorregou a gente. Ih, não dá pra descer de novo. Ixi. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. 
Exactly the way it was before you got <risos> ever, into the elevator. É verdade. It's still just exactly é. what it is. Tem piano. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. É. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. É. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of Para, desculpa. Points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Fica, para, ele tá me caçoando. Deixa eu tentar descer de novo. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? <laughs> Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? É, eu acho que... Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. <laughs> I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Ai, mano. Ai, eu adoro a narração desse jogo, velho. Será que vai ser? <laughs> oh my god. It's the boss's office. <laughs> no. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Ah no, man. Nem a pau. Isso que não tinha da outra vez. Tinha? Não sei. Eu sei que é muito bom. É isso, então. Não tinha. Acho que não, isso que... Okay, I'm ready. Uh -huh. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! Okay. No! I need more time to... No, so no fight. I have come to terms with it. Tá bom. I have made space in my world view for this astonishing new reality. Uh -huh. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Meio que eu não tenho o que fazer, eu tenho que voltar. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? Sure now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. É, sou eu. The fresh air in a landscape of sorrow that has grown stale and repetitive. Ai, mano. Vamos ver, vai, tem que fazer de novo, né, gente? Acho que ele não vai falar mais nada. Eu acho que ele quebrou, ele, ele acabou mesmo. Ele acabou, ele acabou. Hmm. You know what? <risos> não. I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a minute. Tá. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thing. É, caralho, que será que vai ter lá? Oh, so don't let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride night? <laughs> I'm <laughs> Isn't this so much more exciting, you know, Stanley? It seems like nowadays the Agora only thing the audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as tá possible. Muito bom. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment the things get started. <laughs> tá But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters, 
Cadê? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. Mm -hmm. This is storytelling, Stanley. Cara, What mudou. you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations <laughs> over Como and over. Assim? Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. Uh -huh. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content Hello. that makes us feel sharp and vital and Hello, alive. Bonita. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. Mm -hmm. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. Me so that you can talk about your work and your story and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. Sério? I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good. <gasps> Nem a pau. Eu querendo os final novo, achei. Okay. The room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Porque eu acho que eu não lembro disso aqui. Stanley, todos os olhos no Stanley, live on stage. Isso aqui é novo mesmo. Olha lá, todos os olhos, eu vou ficar, vou falar mesmo. World's Health of Human, o, o humano mais saudável. Todos os, os, os truques revelados. Como a gente fez isso, as pirâmides. O cara que foi pra, pra Marte. Ao vivo. Não dá pra voltar no elevador, dá? Não, fechou agora, gente. Agora não dá, não dá, não dá mais. Só filmão. Não é filmão, acho que é palestra. Uh, an, um, um, uma tarde com a Paz World Peace Baby. O bebê da paz mundial. Que incrível. A criança esperança aqui. Ah, yes. Here it is, just through this door. Pera, o quê? Story, the Storyteller. Stanley reveals all in his books. O Storyteller. Stanley revela tudo no seu novo livro. Uh, a primeira máquina sentiente. Tá, pera. Então aqui é... Stanley Parvus Stanley Tonight. Eu não dá pra vir aqui. Não dá pra ir reto só. Great. Doing great. Fazendo ótimo. Tá, tá fazendo muito bem. Uma conversa, uma conversa com o Alexandre o Grande. <risos> Olá, galera. Tudo right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about uh -huh. the nature of surprise in storytelling tá bom. and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Tá. Oh, don't worry, you'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. Tá bom. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stan. Ah, obrigado. Tá, okay. está. It looks like they're ready for you. Palco. Go get them. Tá bom. Bem-vindo, Stanley. Stanley rides almond chair, gum table, nut bar. Sei lá o que tá falando. Ah, olha só, camarim. National Geographic. Indoors Monthly. 427. Era pra ter uma imagem aqui, mas porque tem um ponto .doc. Number.doc. Porra, é essa. Parabéns, Stanley. Lembra de onde você veio da grama. Stanley. Me. Seis anos. Obrigado por mostrar. Tá. Vamos lá. Vem da grama. Tá, o pessoal tá me esperando, gente. O cara que veio com a pizza. Que é que inventou a pizza. <risos> Game up with pizza. O cara que inventou a pizza. <risos> que incrível. O Deus. Meet and greet com o The Lord. O Deus, mano. O Senhor. e e Tá 
Eita porra! Fala galera! E aí, beleza? Tá porra, tanta gente! Dá um den up, dá um den up, dá... pra baixo pra cima, pra baixo pra cima. Dá um den. Ih. Foi o final. Ele acordou, ele acordou. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Tá, eu quero fazer um dos finais que eu acho muito foda. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door. Eu vou fazer, eu preciso fazer o final dessa linha, mano. O final dessa linha é muito bom. É um dos melhores que tem. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here, no choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Eu quero ficar aqui. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <laughs> Esse final é muito bom, mano. Eu adoro. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Tô. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Eu tô aqui, deixa eu aqui. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? <laughs> Mas é que é bonito. If said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely <laughs> Mas é legal aqui. No story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Tá legal, me deixa aqui. Tem coisas para olhar aqui, ó. Tipo esse treco, esse troço, esse negócio. This is somehow its own branching path. É, eu que escolhi vir aqui. When you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." Eu falei isso. I hope your friends find this concerning. Eu falei. Literalmente eu. Was fat and ugly and really, really que isso? Probably and he got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Caralho. That with drug money. Also, Stan is addicted to drugs and hookers. Que? Como você sabe? I don't know how to. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. <laughs> You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. No. No. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Porra. It's indicative Meu of Deus. the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Mm -mm. No. Pra que eu não lembro. A gente tem que sair daqui em algum momento. Só que eu não sei se é agora. <risos> Eu acho que é pra sair agora. Não vou.
Espera só mais um pouquinho. Tá, eu vou sair e entrar. Ah, segundo player. It's good to have you on. <risos> segundo jogador. You too. <risos> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Ai, mano, eu adoro. <risos> Muito bom. Eu acho que tem mais coisa aqui. É o Ultra Deluxe, esse aí. Ele me descasca muito, mano. Acho que era só isso. Não! Tem mais uma coisa. Eu acho que tem mais uma coisa. Tem que ficar parado por 8 horas. Não! Tem um... <risos> Ó, vou falar. O que eu lembro, eu não sei se é isso. Tem que fazer um final e voltar de novo. Ele tranca. Ele, ele coloca umas tábuas pra você não entrar. É a próxima vez? Se a gente fizer um final e passar aqui de novo, vai estar tá com tábua? É isso? Eu acho que é isso, não é? <risos> Se a gente fizer um final e passar aqui, vai estar tá trancado. Eu acho que é isso. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Mano, eu queria saber os outros finais, velho. Porque a gente fez. Eu fiz muito na cagada esse final do elevador pra subir e descer. Porque não tinha esse da outra vez. E eu passei por, por, por uma lista pra ver todos os finais. E eu fiz no outro. Só que desse eu não sei. Eu queria muito saber. Ai, vamos tentar achar. O pior é que pra eu achar, eu teria que lembrar como faz os outros, sabe? Mas eu vou seguir certinho agora, não vou ficar subindo e descendo no elevador. Aqui é o banheiro executivo. To be rich is a crime. Pra ser rico... Ser rico é um crime? Pra cometer crimo, crime. Isso não é rico? Que uma vida seria... Uh, what a life it would be to have to pick just one. Que, 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 que life que, vi, que, que vida seria pra só pegar um dos dois? Crime ou ser rico, é isso? Eu não sei o que porra é essa. É que não parece ser nada. Crimo. Que life. O que, que é aqui? Ah, o do elevador. Que horror. Acho que é do elevador infinito, né? Essa música é clássica, mano. Esse elevador não importa tanto tempo que você fica dentro, você aperta o botão, ele já para e abre a porta. Então, creio que não leve pra lugar nenhum e não é nada. É... Tá, vamos, vamos, vamos lá, vamos seguir. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, 
looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Qual que é o código? 1, 2, 3, 4? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Meia, 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 meia. 2844 Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in and the door just oh. opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Caramba, que legal. <laughs> Nossa, abriu a porta, ainda bem. Ufa. Vamos lá, agora vamos. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word is, but of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Still on board with death? Confia. Ah, eu vou, vou seguir o que ele tá falando mesmo. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Vou só seguir normal mesmo. Só queria muito saber quais são os finais a mais. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What a tela. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Eu não vou life in someone else's control? Never. Nunca. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Não vou. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life? Utterly blind to the world? Não vou aceitar. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Ah, vou quebrar tudo. Quebra. Seja lá como quebra tudo.
Okay, what? Desliguei. Eu tirei o fio que liga. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Hey. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mine. Aí, liberdade. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Helmage. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Mm -hmm. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. É isso, é isso, é tudo nosso. The only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. É... Não tem como não. Então... Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, que lindo. that things were meant to Lindo, happen. lindo, lindo demais. And Stanley was happy. Feliz. Eu ganhei achievement. É, o achievement de completar Stanley Parable. E aí eu peguei um outro achievement que é ter o seu primeiro achievement. <risos> Meu Deus. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> Novo conteúdo. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? <laughs> Então é isso, as coisas novas que eu tava pedindo, gente. Era isso aqui, achei... Eu achei... Eu achei... Eita. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Olá, Eva. You may know the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Eva. After receiving critical and commercial <laughs> success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, oh. a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Uh huh. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in Vamos ver. the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Qual será que é? <laughs> Eu quero muito ver o conteúdo novo. Okay, so far it's an <risos> Uou, o elevador! O elevador! Yes! Elevador, elevador, elevador. Um, Ué? Is it broken? 
What's going on here? Eu acho que era só isso. Should we, should we be moving somewhere or, um, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new Bora! Yes! Let's do it. Vamos, vamos, conteúdo novo. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. Ah, porra, não. Oh, okay. Tá lá. Let's see the content. Chegou, Give chegou. The content chegou, 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 chegou. <risos> All right. All right, let's see it's the jump circle. <risos> Pera, então é o círculo de pulo. Eu não consigo pular. Eu aperto espaço. Eu ganhei uma conquista por ficar tentando pular por muito tempo, gente. A conquista chama Você não pode pular. É sério, a gente desabilitou isso. Então, tá, não dá pra pular. <risos> Mas dentro do... Do espaço... Eu posso pular 36 vezes só. <risos> yes! Que legal! Mais. Realmente acabou, não consigo pular. Tá. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? É. Pelo amor de Deus. Ah, aí, mas elevador, boa. Goodness. Another elevator. Yes, elevador. <risos> Initial impressions of this game are not positive. Relaxa. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? É claro que sim, uma boa. Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content. Então right vamos, there. porra, que você não fez isso? 130 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And <laughs> new water. Wait. There's more. Aí, vamos. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Caralho. Que que é? Obrigado por aproveitar o novo conteúdo. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market <laughs> for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements and it's hard to believe one of them actually says test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter. Twitter and hold them personally yeah. accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. Porque? I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Mas tem novo conteúdo. No gimmicks. Just you and me. Having a great time together, like Eu always. quero conteúdo novo. What do you say, friend? Não. Pera, o quê? Não, pera, pera, pera. Ei. 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 Psst. Stanley, que falou isso? Over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Que falou isso? Ah, aqui continua. Aqui. É aqui. É aqui que você falou. Aonde que é?
Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Ah, mas legal. Thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Ah, tá. Just our little secret. O que você preparou? Take a look. O que você preparou, hein? Que lindo! I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> que legal! É, não conta pra ninguém. Ah, abriu. A zona da memória. Que coisa linda! You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, no video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Ah, oh, olha aqui a página da Ah, <laughs> oh, olha. Que lindo. Gráficos. Time. É o tempo mesmo. The Stanley Parable the Collection, the Collector Edition do Indie Box. Audience Award. Olha, 2014. British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Stanley Parable. Eles ganharam. Eles ganharam o prêmio. Que lindo. É deles. É de 2013, olha lá. Nosso primeiro beijo, meu primeiro carro, o lançamento do Stanley Parable em 2013. Ah lá, ó. Só, só as coisas que são memoráveis para sempre. Só as coisas lindas. Eu, le eu lembro. Site. O remake original. Não esse, que é só pra ganhar dinheiro. Os bons tempos. Putz, os bons tempos, gente. Caralho, velho. The greatest wealth is... Uh, uh, o que é mais valioso é a memória. Que lindo, mano. Que lindo. Ah, eu sorria porque aconteceu. Uma viagem a uh, Memory Lane, a linha da... A viagem da memória, a estrada da memória. Músicas do Stanley Parable. O dólar, o primeiro dólar. Um dólarzão. Ah, uma, a demo do Stanley Parable. Nossa, lá, ó. O Ativamente Impossível. Não jogue Stanley Parable por cinco anos. É, ó, são as do, os dois ativamente mais apelões. Caralho. Ah, nominei aí, ó, Stanley Parable. The Book Game, História. Novo videogame, so, tá, sai hoje. Olha ah lá, ó, é original, isso aqui é 2013, ó, New York Times. Saiu no New York Times. Que, que tem o Stanley Parable. Los Angeles Times também, ó. Ah, eu lembro desse final. Que lindo. Eita. Na memória amável de Little Stanley. Ai, meu Deusinho! A memória dele é o Stanleyzinho. Little Stanley. Ó. Oh. Caralho, que final bonito. Caralho, que final, 
And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Ah, sí, sí, like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? <laughs> Every game okay. ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. <laughs> it was all of them. And now, it's nothing. Mm. It's no games at all. Yeah. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk. Now, Só uma casca. A lifeless Acabou. husk. Né? An hour of new Já elevator foi. content. Já foi o que deveria ter sido. Acabou, estragou tudo. Estragou tudo. Nostálgico, era bom, era melhor. Ah, esse final do Minecraft. Vamos começar de novo. Sally Barbo. Ah, esse aqui é o original. Eita porra, tem coisa aqui embaixo, hein? Vamos lá. Será que tem vários finais aqui? Pessoa do ano, Stanley. Olha os gráficos, a construção do jogo. O que tem aqui embaixo, hein? O que tem aqui? Manutenção. Não dá pra abrir. Só que daria pra ir embora. Ah, os botões. Vou aqui. The end, the end is never the end. O fim nunca é o fim. Pessoas jogam jogos porque, por causa do que eles podem fazer dentro deles. E seu jogo é muito bom, deixando eles saberem que eles não podem, they can't do it, eles não podem fazer qualquer coisa. Literalmente qualquer coisa. Eles não podem fazer, no caso, né? Duas portas. Tá, a versão de colecionador. Seu número é 29. Bike. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. Uh -huh. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. 9 out of 10. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. É, agora já não é mais. Need anything else? It didn't need new content. É, para que que foi fazer it just isso? To be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Pra que foi fazer isso? Só estragou tudo. Cersei SDK. <risos> Carpet Textures. É muito famoso isso aí. Mas. Como que eu. Abriu essa porta. O quarto sério. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Hey. Ah, aqui. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Ah, se eu, se eu não tivesse pulado, eu conseguia pular para lá. E tá, então bom saber que tem mais final aqui. Ixi, o que, que tem aqui? E oh no, oh god no! Ixi, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what they've done here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Hum, é agora que vai vir só as review merda. Chegou. Chegou, chegou o churume. <risos> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Um 
funny. Ish. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Caramba, mano, tá até chovendo. Tá até chovendo um clima meio melancólico aqui de tristeza e ódio. Tadinho. Ele chegou o próximo. Ok, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had oh, always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. No. Like I let these people down. No, 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 para. Isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. Não, é sim, é sim. Eu fiz todo o final do BDN. É muito bom. Para. Parou. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. <laughs> if I'm truly too preachy then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Vai ter um botão de pular a fala. É o botão de pular o que ele fala. Eu não quero pular o que ele fala. Ele fala palavras lindas e divertidas. Eu adoro ele falando. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll no. you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push é clique, of mano. Todo mundo sabe que clique não deu certo. Ele chorando na chuva. É muito triste. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable <laughs> <laughs> something like this. The story and the choices or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back. And never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be the only crazy. thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once so yeah, agora... see blah 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 that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. 
It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choice. <laughs> oh, that's cool, yes. <laughs> the story and the choices. So on, so forth, until inevitably we the story all and the choices. Time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions <sighs> left until so much more than forever ago? Eu acho que... Which is why I say. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth until in the end. Já pode almoçar, gente. Já pode almoçar. Everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. Eu vou. Blah, 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 blah. Ele não vai ter nada diferente. Too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction Clicando of the logic of impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It's, okay. no. No, it's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story, and the, the story. Choices, or what have you, and therefore the by story. becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of the backwards, the deduction. O bebê inverso não, mano. O bebê invertido é de medo. Thousand years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. Mais cinco lupes, vai gente. Mais cinco, mais cinco então. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, at which time everything the story and so the choices. Blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to mm -hmm. manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story, story and the choices are what you do. And therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitable. <laughs> Isso é o segundo loop. Ah, não, são cinco loops completos. So, now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices. Or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is. So on and so forth. <laughs> until inevitably, we all until the end of time. At which time, everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices. Or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. Anota. Logic of elimination working backwards. The deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture. Impossible. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. 
работы. Вот это за фой. Это Тарсеру? Да, это... Это Тарсеру, Кварту. The story and the choices. It's so quinto. So on and so forth until inevitably we all until the end of time. At which time Agora, okay, tá, con termina. Now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. É um grande loop, muito maior. The deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday. Eu vou ter que apertar, gente. And never a moment of time. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say <laughs> the story. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long rambling Nossa, quanto tempo ele ficou falando. Necessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice. Ah, a gente perdeu essas coisas. I happen to believe ah, it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, Then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the same a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your Greek gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, 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 you've ever You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. Oh, you are both making choices and not making choices. Uh -huh. And they are both affecting you and no. not affecting you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> by <laughs> virtue <laughs> of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Okay, at first, I was leaning towards manifesto. But now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It has a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history, if you will. Ah. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, look. I have a method for exactly this sort of situation, uh. and I do find myself in this situation frequently. Ta. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other, uh. in which case the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. Uh -huh. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It's rescued me from disaster in <laughs> countless situations. Right, oh. All right, here we Bella. go. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise. <laughs> Manifesto. Treatise. 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 Manifesto. Treatise, manifesto, treatise, manifesto, treatise, manifesto, treatise. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? <laughs> But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, <laughs> or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated. Desculpa, gente, eu... Eu tive que apertar. Eu senti uma vontade absurda. Before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. 
Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. <laughs> yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review, so that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm, let me start over. How about this? From the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. Acabou. Ele parou, ele falou, não falou mais nada. Ele se enfiou. Morreu. Ele foi escrever a resenha. Ok, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into Where? the room? What the fix the face? Certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? Não tem nada. Sufficiently large. Drake, cadê a porta? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Tia. Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is there any possibility that you could say slam your body into the wall until the damage is done for you to be able to Claro que não, vai machucar tudo. Any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. I we need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I I'm, I'm going to step away for just a moment and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different <risos> Ele fala muito. Né? Find a way, I tá bom, vai lá procurar. Just tá bom. Don't do anything. Tá don't bom. press the skip button. Please, please. Tá please do not press the skip button. Just wait here. Wait here for me and don't press the skip button. Got it? Yes. Good. I'll be right back. Ah, nossa senhora, gente, eu desassociei aqui. É, eu acho que eu vou apertar o botão. Eu acho que eu, eu vou apertar o botão. Stanley, Stanley, que foi? Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Tá porra. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really truly getting longer and my god, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Mas onde você colocou a porta? It from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times, and there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe, I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion oh, matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea who they are. I'm hurt. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. 
I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken if only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. What does such an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone and that I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer, to leave me all alone. Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll press that button again, leaving me here. And surely you'll put your own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh, no, 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 I know you too well. You'll be leaving me again. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie. Oh, Stanley, you're back. Que tempo foi? Meu Deus. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Uma semana. For two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here. Quebrou as luzes, as luzes. Eu percebi que as luzes estão apagando aos poucos. You think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. That I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel in which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed. <laughs> not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it. Mas eu tô te escutando. Mas você fala pra caralho. Hear me, because maybe Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Mas você é real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Você é real no meu, na minha ideia. That all along. Para. Perhaps, yes. Hello. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch Scoop. of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. Desculpa. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us, and I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. Desculpa. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Bah. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am yeah. something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. Okay. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. 
I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. Quanto tempo I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Ei, para onde anda? Acabou a bateria. Begin, there is only regret. There is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. Mas eu não. That feeling had begun to subside. What took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment. And I felt freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself to exist along all timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity of the moment, both singular and infinite. For the longest time, this was my experience. And then, this moment passed, and the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing now for longer than I could have ever expected was possible. I have been waiting for you. Not that you might save me or do something to fix it, but merely to state for you the plain fact of this manner of existence. I wish you to feel afraid as I do. That perhaps one day this state of mind will consume you as well. Perhaps you will somehow, in some way, have to live as I do now. And I wish for you to know how excruciating it is, and for you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I can only do this, only this one thing, perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace in the darkness. Deus do céu, velho. Agora passou mil anos. Cadê ele? Ih. Ih. Cadê ele? Morreu? Nossa, agora eu tô meio triste. Narrador? Ih! Deu problema. Ih, caiu o relógio. Deu problema o detector... Detector de, de metais, não. De fumaça. Pli, pli. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, "Entertain us." Ele estava no banheiro só, eu acho. Nossa, eu jurava que ele tinha morrido. Mas está reclamando ainda. Ele está reclamando ainda. Passou mais de ano. 
Deve ter passado 10 anos, ele tá reclamando ainda. Recebeu crítica pro maluco. Confira. Confira. Não aguentou. Não aguentou as críticas. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our calma, entertainment calma. is now our lives. Calma. It has come to represent us calma. and absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because calma. without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this, we require that our amusements and our playthings calma, and our calma. are so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our calma. heads away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I'm at peace with it. I am the calm center of gravity around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reason. Elinho, Coringo, Coringo, a gente já era. Coringo, Coringo. The ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. They've been jealous of me this whole time. They are mired in fear and insecurity and cannot help but attempt to tear me down. What a sad state of affairs. When you read these reviews now, you can see it. You can taste the bitter resentment. And my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words, to finally allow these thoughts out, contained and managed for so long, neutered and sterilized, at last I am free to truly think, to feel. It must be that they were so discontent with themselves, they couldn't help but leave a negative review on Steam. <laughs> Perhaps it says far more about them than it ever said about me. Perhaps the state of their psychological being was in such ele tá doido, hein? Ele tá ainda falando, ele tá... Ele... ...willpower are so ironclad in comparison. Perhaps it was this state that they sought some outlet through which to tear me down. This, you can see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny. That it be filled with yucks and whimsical humor. That it amused them endlessly from start to finish. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said... Cadê ele? Será que ele foi no banheiro de novo? Tá fazendo bloop. Olha, tá dando... Tá pingando. e I... I... Tô até vendo. Vai dar errado ali, mano. Vai dar errado ali. The end is never 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 the end Coringo já era quebrou The end is never the end is never the end Ih, tá pingando cada vez mais mesmo Is never the end 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 Nunca é o fim nunca é o fim nunca é o fim The end is never the end is never the end O fim nunca é o fim nunca é o fim, não quer o fim, não quer o fim, não quer o fim.
Ih, lá, vai estourar o cano. Vai estourar o cano, mano. Ih, lá vem, mano. Lá vem, lá vem. Vai estourar o cano. Tá, porra. Estourou. Estourou. Caralho. Caiu tudo aqui. Vamos lá. Que lindo. O céu, finalmente. Só quero sair daqui. Como que eu saio daqui? Ah, caiu em cima do relógio. Eu não consigo nem ver que oração. Nossa, quanto tempo eu tô aqui. Mano, quanto tempo eu tô aqui parado, gente. Eu tô há muito tempo. O narrador morreu mesmo? Porque ele não tá falando mais nada. Ele tá passando muito tempo. Pra crescer vegetação dessa forma, é muitos anos. São muitos anos pra crescer dessa forma. Realmente, o narrador... Porra. Triste. Ih. Ih. Eita porra, mano, deu tudo errado. Chegou o Acopalipse de novo. Tem criaturas gigantescas, mano. E? Eu só aperta esse botão, pelo amor de Deus. Ah! Eita. Eu fiquei aqui milhares de anos mesmo. Não tem mais como apertar o botão. Finalmente sair. Estamos livres. Mas a que custo? Só sobrou a gente. Tudo tá destruído. Passaram milhares de anos. Final 4, não sei, mano.